Today, I'm going to be talking about the tundra climate, which is in many ways very similar to the ice climate, except during the summer, there is an ice-free season. Temperature ranges in tundras are actually quite diverse. Summer average temperatures are usually between 0 and 10 degrees Celsius. But winters can often be absolutely frigid. But sometimes they can even struggle to get below freezing in more mild tundras. Tundras can have any amount of precipitation as long as the precipitation and temperature make it too cold for trees to grow. It's important to note, however, that some tundras are split into different categories depending on their precipitation level. In the tundra, flora can range from grass to moss and lichen and shrubs, and even some small trees sometimes. The defining factor of a tundra is that short to non-existent growing seasons make it difficult for trees to grow. Animals include large land-dwelling mammals like polar bears, more medium-sized land-dwelling mammals like arctic hares, and small ones like rodents. They also include insects like bumblebees, seals, narwhals, whales, walruses, and many others. In the mountains, things like caprini, snow leopards, and chinchillas live. In this map, you can see the extent of tundras, which is marked in brown. The subtypes of tundra are Arctic, which exists because of its northern latitude, Antarctic, which exists because of its southern latitude, and Alpine, which exists because of its high altitude.